In today's entrepreneurial landscape, access to capital stands as a barrier for many startups, particularly in emerging markets. Traditional financiers that are averse to risk and with stringent lending criteria often overlook early stage ventures that lack collateral or substantial revenue streams. This is why venture capital has become increasingly attractive to the sector. Kenya attracted close to 140 billion shillings in venture capital in 2023, surpassing other large economies like Egypt, Nigeria and South Africa as a recipient of this investment. Our reporter Jasmine Wamboy investigates the nuances of venture capital, its distinction from traditional debt, and the impact it has on entrepreneurs looking to make the big break. For many startups in the country, access to capital is a tall order. The lack of collateral and significant revenue flows means that traditional financiers like banks tend to shy away from lending to startups. And this is where venture capital comes in. So just how does venture capital differ from traditional debt? Venture capital is effectively equity investment. So when uh, when an investment is done, um, shareholding is effectively uh, acquired from the investment. So one is buying a stake into a company. Yeah. So there's no obligation for the company to pay that money back. Uh, really, it's for that capital to be used to to grow the company. Um, debt is effectively typically a loan. Um, so a provision of uh, finance to be repaid. Um, probably with uh, interest. But while venture capital is very attractive, it can be extremely hard to come by. For Shamba Pride, a Kenyan startup looking to ease the access of quality farm inputs for farmers, acquiring venture capital was like squeezing water out of a stone. I shared over 120 pitch decks and less than 5% got feedback. Feedback is I've received your deck, I'm looking at it. Um, I think to has uh, probably less than 1% was successful. And even after Munguti got a positive response from Seedsters Africa Ventures, the money would still be largely out of reach months later. Uh, for you to unlock this capital, you also need to meet certain milestones. And for us, the milestones were around uh, like uh, a bit of um, financial management, uh, a bit of uh, corporate uh, governance in place, basically. So we worked for around three months before the money started coming in. This was in quarter three of 2021, and Munguti says the 120 million shillings he received has changed the fortunes at Shamba Pride in a way he could not have dreamt of. We had 20 digital by then, uh, and, and, and for 18 months, two years, we have grown the number of digital shops to 220. I think that is 10x growth. And the number of agro dealers like we are servicing has grown to 2,700 from 300 agro dealers. So just who are venture capitalists and where do they get the money to invest in startups? Take Sidsters Ventures Africa, for instance. Usually they will raise money from larger investors like the European Investment Bank. They then pull it and invest it in startups and SMEs. These startups, however, have to meet certain requirements. So we look for businesses that are serving valuable markets. So these are significant markets where a business can end up generating multi-million dollar revenues. Uh, and effectively, we look for businesses that seek to do that with a very efficient business model. So a business, I'd say, typically is generating at least between $7,000 to $10,000 a month. That is when uh, it is interesting for an early stage investor. And it's not all about the money. At that time, we also gain a board seat so that we can effectively have a, through the equity, a significant stake in the company, so buy-in. We're really buying into building this business and generating a return for ourselves in the long run. And then uh, a board seat, really, so that we can have direct influence um, into this company and how and basically help them in terms of their strategy and their execution. So how can a startup seek out capital from a venture capital fund? It can be through direct um, uh, uh, communication from the companies themselves, so them applying on our website, so we have a portal where SMEs can apply for investment. It appears that venture capital funds are not short of money. The European Investment Bank has pumped in huge amounts in the last year. In 2023, we invested uh, roughly 350 million euros in funds that are active in, uh, in Africa. 
um, over the years, we have invested close to 3 billion euro into, the, uh, into private equity and venture capital funds in Africa. Uh, they have invested that capital into circa 2,000 SMEs in the continent. It is no secret that most startups in the country that appear to be doing well have received a substantial amount of funding. Wasoko, Poa Internet, and even more established entities such as Naiva Supermarket continue to make the power of venture capital undeniable. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.